The NMRS processes samples for several different tests. In this video, we will go through the request forms for the two NMRS laboratories and how to fill them in. The NMRS provides the following services. Primary culture of clinical specimens, such as sputum, BAL fluid or biopsy material. A reference service, performing identification and drug susceptibility testing for positive mycobacterial cultures. And fast track molecular testing using both the Kefid Gene Expert platform and an in-house line probe assay. As with all parts of medicine, interpretation of test results is dependent on the clinical context. Accurately and completely filling out the NMRS request form ensures that you will receive the most useful possible information back from the NMRS. We shall start with the request forms used by the NMRS South, based in London. This is the most commonly used NMRS South request form. It should be sent with primary clinical specimens for culture and with positive culture sent for reference testing. We will go through each section in turn. This section of the form is for the details of the referring laboratory. If the laboratory serves more than one hospital, it is very helpful if the specific hospital is mentioned, as this makes it much easier to contact the responsible clinicians if needed. Many request forms we receive do not have a contact telephone number listed. This makes it difficult to contact the responsible clinicians, so please fill in your contact number. This area is for the patient's information. Please fill out as much as you can, with a bare minimum being the patient's name, date of birth, and hospital or NHS number. This area is for the information about the sample that the form accompanies. Fill in your laboratory reference number and whether the sample is a primary clinical specimen or a positive culture. Please also indicate which body site the sample was taken from, as this can influence testing methodology. The date of collection and date sent to PHE fields are particularly useful in the context of positive cultures, as they indicate how many days the culture took to become positive. This can be helpful when interpreting the results of identification tests. This area is where you specify which investigations you wish the NMRS to perform. For a positive culture, Tick the Identification and Sensitivities box. For a primary clinical specimen, tick the Culture box. Please note that the NMRS does not perform microscopy routinely on primary samples unless specifically requested. If you wish this to be performed, please also tick the Microscopy box. Please tick the appropriate box here to indicate the results of any microscopy already performed on the specimen. In this section of the form, please tick all of the appropriate boxes plus give a short summary of the clinical scenario. Of particular importance is information about previous TB or NTM infection and any treatment the patient has already received. This information is often omitted from request forms, but is very important in making decisions in complex cases. In this space, write any further clinical information you feel is relevant, or the details of any discussions that you have already had about the patient with the NMRS. Finally, please put your name, the date and a telephone number at the bottom of the form. Fast track testing, which is performed using either GeneXpert or a Lyme probe assay, has a separate request form. The patient details section is the same as the form we have already reviewed, but there are some differences further down the form. Here, please indicate the type of sample you are sending. Please note the minimum volume requirement for CSF samples. The more CSF sent, the better the yield of the test. Please also note that if you are sending a histology sample, that you must include either a slide or a diagram indicating the area for testing with the sample. Failure to do so will result in a delay in testing. In this section, please tick the appropriate box to indicate the results of any microscopy already performed. For CSF samples, please enter the cell counts and biochemistry results if they are known. In the clinical section, please tick all applicable boxes, with particular attention to the reason for test section. The reason the test is being performed is important in interpreting the clinical significance of the results. Use the white space boxes here and below to give any further relevant clinical details and the details of any discussions that you have already had with the NMRS. And finally, fill in your name, the date and your contact telephone number. The NMRS North and Central, based in Birmingham, uses a single request form for all of the tests they offer. Please read the form carefully when filling it in to ensure that you request the correct test. 
This section of the form is for the details of the requesting laboratory, including the responsible clinician and a contact telephone number. This section is for the patient's demographic information. This section is for the details of the sample. As mentioned previously, the more detail you provide here, the better the NMRS will be able to assist you in managing your patient. This section of the form is where you indicate which tests you wish the NMRS to perform. And finally, this section is for any relevant information which you have not already given. Now that we have looked at the NMRS request forms in detail, here are some key take-home messages. Contact information is very important. Please enter your laboratory and hospital details along with a contact telephone number on every form. The more clinical information you can provide the NMRS, the more likely we are to be able to give you the information that you need to correctly manage your patient. And if in doubt as to whether a piece of information is relevant or not, please just write it on the form.